Today we're back at our Regents Park property and some big news is there's a lady by the name of Daisy Ridley, here she is, and uh, she was the actress in Star Wars and she's just purchased on the same road. And we're gonna show her what our property looks like as a bespoke home. Today we're going to be looking at the first floor flat and the way that I'm going to show you is the layout first on this floor plan. So on the left hand side we have an open plan kitchen and lounge. In between we have a hallway. The next room is your bedroom which then leads on to a walk-in wardrobe and a bathroom and in between that we've got this really nice study area which overlooks a landscape garden. Absolutely love this apartment and uh, what's really important to know is the bespoke finishes. So here we have an open plan kitchen and lounge and what we've got behind me is a bespoke kitchen which was handcrafted but I'm going to show you that a bit later. This is the entrance hallway that also includes a really nice solution to sit down, put your shoes on and also hang your clothes. I'm going to show you that in a moment too. This is the bedroom and what we've got as a separation is this really nice crystal glass feature. To the left of me we've got a study and then these steps lead down into this amazing walk-in wardrobe. And finally zone 6 which is this really really cool bathroom. I really love this detail. This is the reception room and what's really important to know is that this is what we call a grade two listed house. That means that we've got so many hurdles as part of the build. Just to give you an example, there's some coving, that's the original coving that dates back over 100 years. And then we've got some original skirting here. And below the floor here, we've got some extra soundproofing and some longer lasting fire protection, which is all part of the grade two heritage requirements. So what makes me different from all of the other developers and the videos that you may see out there is that I'm actually a bespoke home developer. This kitchen hasn't been purchased from Howden's or Ikea. It's something that we have built ourselves. So we have a joinery and we've got some craftsmen within that joinery that will complete a kitchen like this, which was literally made to measure. Um, all of the internals are finished with a hard oak wood. So this is not your MDF or your chipboard, it's high quality. And then the density on this worktop, where you have a normal worktop which could be 600, we've got a depth here which is much wider, which allows the owners to have more food when they're preparing their meals, which adds to the quality of their experience. Another thing that we have within this space is we've got this really, really nice light and to the left of me, what's really important is for security is we have this entry phone system that allows you to visually see who's visiting you downstairs. What I like about this space here is we've got this hallway which then leads us behind this crystal glass, once again bespoke feature, into a bedroom. Come inside. Understanding your market, that's really important. And what we've got in this profile here is a really cool buyer profile that really understands design and build. So the choice of colors is important. This light feature is important. And once again, as a bespoke developer, this has been made within our joinery and then we've got some toughened glass to pass the building control. So experience and knowing what you do is super important. Behind me, we've got the space for a double bed and uh, on the left hand, the right hand side, we've got these really nice designer lights which can be turned off and turned off from here. Alternatively, you can also turn them off and on individually from the points as well. So once again, that's a really nice touch for the end user buyers. Still within the bedroom, what we've also done here is we've given them a little bit of modern, but we've retained a lot of the period features. So you'll see up here, we've got some original coving, we've got some skirting here, we've got a ceiling rose, and that adds to the character. And then the color in this room, absolutely, you let me know, what do you think? 
Zone 4 and uh, what we've created here is a small study space. So utilization of space that comes from experience is so crucial. And uh, this is a very compact apartment, but it's got six zones in there that are all usable spaces. So just imagine a floating desk here with a chair overlooking the garden and you've got your home office. And behind you, we've got our walk-in wardrobe and the color scheme in here, it feels very much like a boudoir. Once we open these doors, once again, they're finished in a solid oak and uh, the front doors have been sprayed by hand once again within our joinery as part of our bespoke design and build. I love this. Look at the detail on this door. So all of this has been commissioned and made by our bespoke joiners. We've got a really nice door handle and this is all required by the heritage which is part of the planning conditions that we have to follow. So this is not your average design and build. This is a really complicated project but for us, it's a complete breeze. Also, what we've factored in here is storage. So storage for clothes, storage for suitcases. I've got storage behind that window. And here, we're gonna have some cushions you can sit down and put your shoes on. Uh, in here, we've got two drawers. These are for multiple pairs of shoes, but then the actual uh, storage solution on the entrance gives you your everyday shoes. So it only has space for maybe two or three pairs of shoes. You sit down, put your shoes on and out you go. Whereas here, this is where you can have your nice collection. And that's based on the buyer profile that we're gonna have for this apartment. Quality is key. And uh, what you can't do is have everything as a bespoke finish and high end and uh, then have a cheap carpet. So this carpet is a really, really expensive carpet and it's made from wool and it's got a really nice weave to it. And uh, so once again, it's something that the buyer profile will appreciate and understand the quality. Zone six is the bathroom and how this space comes together, it's a mix of the tiles, the radiators, the glass, the basins, and everything just comes together so nicely to create what I would call a very cool bathroom indeed. Also, the quality of the finishing here and here with the silicon and all around the showers, it's done to the highest standard. And as a bespoke developer, you can literally touch and feel how we've developed this home. So what does it take to create an apartment of this quality? It takes experience, it takes quality, it takes money, and it takes time. Next video, I'm gonna be showing you a two bedroom masonette with a roof terrace, and this unit that we're standing in now is a three bedroom with a garden and an external office. Stay tuned, share, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.